Hello, so tonight we're going to be changing valve stem seals on a 1991 Dodge Ram van B250. It's got a 318 or 5.2 liter. So I did this job a few years ago and I feel that on the uh, rear passenger side cylinder was a cylinder I started with. I didn't do it correctly. So when you push down on these seals, I got a feeling that I didn't jam it down all the way to the last position. You'll see that there's a little uh, covers you put over top of your valves stems so that they don't scratch the seals and uh, so that's another thing in the kit so uh, this is a Felpro kit SS72730 you'll need a valve cover gasket they come in uh, a set you'll only be using the one side then uh, to do this with the head on you need to put air in the cylinder so I'm going to be using a leak down kit to do this. I can't remember how I did this the last time but it should be easy enough. And uh, you'll need to remove the valve springs. So uh, I think I used this the last time. It's good to have a magnet around to drop the uh, locks into position. And hopefully I've got that around otherwise it'll look like I'm only doing two, two valves so it shouldn't be too big of a deal if I don't have that. So take a quick uh, run over to the van. You'll need a compressed air supply. Got a wand here for blowing out the uh, area, the work area. So you pull out the uh, spark plug. First of all, you blow everything off here. Make sure it's good and clean. You take the uh, snorkel off of there. Have to take off part of the air breather and whatnot, get the valve cover off. I know this cylinder is bad because it keeps fouling. But find a way to uh, get the camera to zoom. So once a year I gotta change the spark plug because it bridges over. You see it's doing it now. So I think the, I know that's the cylinder that's uh, burning oil in this vehicle because it does burn some. So I'm gonna give it one more shot here to cure this. It's not a problem with the engine. It's been do burning oil for years. It's not getting worse and it's not affecting its performance other than that one spark plug. So uh, if you end up buying the van, don't worry about it. Just uh, hopefully I fixed it by doing this video. And if not, at least uh, I tried. Anyway, so thanks for watching. We'll catch up later on. All right, so uh, one thing I did the last time I did this job was I replaced all the rubbers in the uh, valve covers. Because uh, as you'll find out when these vehicles get 20 years old, all the rubber turns into plastic and doesn't work properly anymore. So I recommend doing that. So we'll try to get this out of here. There's quite a bit of wiring and stuff in the way. Ground wire for the engine is there on the back of the head. I'll do this without having an avalanche of junk going into the engine. Keep track of these wires as well. Spray it one more time. Let's see if we can do this one handed. Yes, we can. So this engine is nice and clean. Put that down there. So I'll have to take the rocker arm off to do this. I've got the manual here, so we'll figure out the torques. We're putting it back together. So uh, at this point, you just take a look around and see if there's any filth in here. Use a flashlight and scoop it out if there is. Take the rocker arm. Then we're going to be uh, focusing on this cylinder here. This is the adapter for the airline, so we got to put that in before we uh, collapse the uh, valve springs. All right, so we got the uh, rocker arm off. It just takes uh, half a dozen half-inch uh, bolts to do that, and you can kind of peer down in, see where the lifter's hiding out. 
I don't know if you could change the lifters right now or not. I've never done that on a vehicle. You can see a piece of gasket that fell off here. So you need the gasket scraper to resolve that entirely. I think I saw a bit of paint over here. So anyway, we'll clean that out. So these are the uh, valves of interest. I'm going to put the air on to here. So we'll be doing that in a minute. Alright, so I changed the hose configuration a little bit. I had to get the right uh, fitting on the line to do this job. So, uh, got the valve spring compressor on here. You want to grab as much spring as you can. And it'll sit tight on the keepers, so you got to push down. And when you do that, it sprays oil a little bit around. So, uh, after you've done that, you go in there with your magnet. And try to get the keepers out of there which uh, takes a bit of contorting. The first one was hardest to get out, so I'm gonna turn off the camera so I can do this. It's a sort of a two-handed job, from what I remember, and then, uh, well, obviously if you hear a lot of air rushing through your engine, or right now if your valve fell down, you would wanna stop, but my valve is up, and uh, I know it's safe to remove this spring. So use your brain there when you're getting this far into the engine, you don't drop a valve in there, because there might be a bit of finagling to get that valve back into the right position. I didn't position my cylinders in any particular order. If you were going to do this, the last time I did it, I did the whole bank in one shot and then went to the other bank. So uh, you could drop a cylinder or drop a valve into the cylinder pretty far, so look out for that. Okay, so I got the uh, keepers out. It was pretty easy. Like I said, you get the one out and then you push the valve sideways to get the other one out. I checked that this tube here is the right size for the valve stem. This is about uh, the right length as well. Seems to be the right device for the job. So you can see on this one here, it's not pushed down all the way. Not sure if it was supposed to or not. See how easy it was to take that off? I'm almost certain that we get on to the next cylinder that we'll find that the other one was bottomed out. So I think that this valve here on the exhaust was always improperly sealed. Let's see in there or not. Nothing really important to see. Just plopping stuff on the air cleaner. You can see a bit of carbon buildup on the uh, valve. So they check this, ask you to look and feel that the uh, lands for the keepers aren't sharp and they're not. Then they uh, tell you to put some oil on things. There's lots of oil in the engine so you can do that. Put that there. Some more oil in here. So that piece protects it so it doesn't get cut. Yeah, so that went right down. And put this back down. I'm gonna just take a minute to clean off these keepers. I don't want any grit pounding away inside of there. So uh, I guess when we'll turn this back on, I'll have I'll be on to the next valve. All right, so we're on to the next valve here. So you just want to make sure you've got everything tight. Grab this with the uh, This will be harder to remove. The other one wasn't installed correctly. For whatever reason, the, they were different on the first kit between the intake and the exhaust. I'm not too sure why. That feels good. Get some oil out of there. Pop that down. Another success. This back down. 
And again, I just got to clean those keepers, put them in. And that's really the job. I'll just to figure out what the torque setting is for the uh, rocker arm. And that's uh, pretty much it. It doesn't take very long. Just don't forget where you are with the air. You wouldn't want to go to the next cylinder and drop a valve. So keep that in mind. All right, so just looking at the factory manual on putting in the uh, rocker arms. So you can see here it's 200 inch pounds. There's something you got to look at uh, number two and four positions. Make sure they're in the uh, correct location. And they say to let the uh, tappets bleed for 20 minutes after you tighten things down. And uh, you do it down, you put the uh, rocker arm down slowly because uh, you don't want to bend it. So you go across back and forth a few times to do that. And then uh, the head covers are 80 inch pounds. So that's uh, about it. Talks about the uh, left and right rockers. A few different things here about servicing the heads, but uh, we didn't do it that way. We use a different kind of compressor. So anyway, so we're looking for 200 inch pounds for the uh, rocker arms. All right, so we got things torqued up to 200 inch pounds. It's right at the limit for the little quarter inch torque wrench. So you should test it on something else to make sure it does uh, work at that setting. You wouldn't want to snap off a bolt. I actually did that once on a car where uh, the torque wrench wasn't reacting well because I was right at the outer limits of it. And uh, it cost me uh, quite a bit of time and money to fix that. So uh, be cognizant of that for the two and the uh, four position this uh, metal spacer is wider. That's what they're trying to tell you in the manual. So a uh, 20 minute bleed town time is not gonna be a big deal. It'll take me that long to get the uh, valve cover back on and torqued. And the engine bay tidied up and the dog house back on. So uh, that's pretty much the end of the job. I won't really know if it's a success for 5,000 kilometers, which I probably won't be driving it. So uh, that's pretty much the end. Thank you for watching.